It's a growing problem that will not go away without public health. That's consensus tonight from some 200 volunteers who surveyed the homeless. They were in Waikiki, Waianae, and urban Honolulu to create a new registry. KITV 4's Nana Okawa reports. Hawaii that has such a rich ohana of taking care of each other, there's no need for someone to be sleeping on their streets and to die on their streets. This might be a familiar site that you just pass by, but Partners in Care says more people might want to pay attention because this is costing a lot of money. Roughly 2000 per visit with ambulance, roughly 1600 per year. That's $3.2 million that we're spending, and most of that could actually be eliminated or reduced just by getting these folks housed. Organizers believe if people in need have a roof over their heads, it'll cut down the amount of emergency calls. It helps stabilize people to be more proactive with their health, and it helps stabilize them so that they don't have as much acute immediate needs. Volunteers surveyed about 440 in need and found out that about 160 are considered vulnerable. Being vulnerable means they have a serious medical illness, a serious mental health illness, or have been homeless for a long period of time. Now that the data is gathered, the challenge now is to figure out where and how to find permanent housing for the most vulnerable homeless. Organizers say the answer is to get landlords on board. Part of the issue is that there may not be a strong connection between those who have places to rent and those who want to rent them. Advocates are now creating a plan to bridge together landlords and people in need of housing. Nana Okawa, KITV 4 News. The Homeless Registry is part of the 100,000 Homes Campaign National Movement to find housing for the vulnerable homeless by July 2014.